Welcome back Stoner Squad and welcome to all those new to the channel. Danny Stone here and thank you for joining me today for some more Imperator Rome playing as Egypt going for the New Kingdom achievement. Anyway, the last episode we got our third war against the fridge done and we took quite a bit of land off him. Um, we took what was left of... Oh no, I think I just took all this. Did I take all this? Yeah, I think I just took um, this part here, part a bit of Palestine and some like kind of provinces up here and started to take some in Syria. But I also managed to get Judea and uh, Samaria released uh, from the fridge, so they're no longer paying them tribute, which weakens the fridge a little bit, which is absolutely fantastic. The fridge is now also caught up in a war of his own, and it's against Rome, believe it or not, which is fantastic. So they're going to give him some more smashing, and uh, the fridge are going to be losing even more manpower. They are low on gold, they're in the negatives at the moment. Uh, their manpower is still at 158k but it won't be for very long since we have given their armies a pretty severe beating and they're going to be replenishing from their manpower which means the manpower is going to go down even more. Rome are going to be doing some more damage as well which is going to further decrease it and all that sort of stuff so it's actually really really good. Um, anyway, let's um, get the game rolling here. So what I want to do is quickly get my mercs all the way back home where I will disband them. And I think I've got all my armies moving back. No, I haven't. Have I? No, I haven't. I think I need to get these guys back. So what we're going to do is you're moving back. You're moving back. These mercs are not moving back. But you need to go back. So we'll get you back home. Well, I'll disband them um, when they're in our land. Don't really want to disband them just yet. Uh, what are you? That's third army. I need to bring you fellas all the way back. So you're going to go to Pelusium. Why not? What's this one doing? This one is the seventh army. You're going to go back to here. Yeah, I forgot to place them. I should have done this off camera, really. I completely forgot. But, oh well, it is what it is. Um, bring the Royal Army back to Memphis, to the capital, obviously, because it's the Royal Army. And we have two more armies here. So the first army is going to go just below Memphis. And then the elephant one, wherever that one is, which is here. And I'm going to pop you just up there, I think. That's fine. That's pretty good. Um, anyway, the next thing I want to do here is change a law. Now... A lot of my governors are pretty low on loyalty here. We have some of the kind of hovering in the 50 section, some in the 40 section, and some are just kind of blatantly disloyal, like notably this guy in Palestine. So what I want to do, I want to actually pass a law here that will help with that. Now I want to go for sponsored scholars. The loyalty of governors will go up, we'll get extra research points, but the loyalty of generals will go down. Now our generals are fairly loyal, honestly. There's nothing really wrong with the loyalty of our generals. Uh, they all have a very high loyalty. I'll just quickly double check, but I mean 55, that's alright for that one. That's us. What about the seventh? He is 55 as well. This guy here is at 84. Wow. And this guy's at 69. So I think we can pass that law. I think it's definitely going to help with the governors. So we'll get the sponsored scholars here, spend some of that political influence and the um, stability just to get that done. So that solves the problem of having the governor of Palestine disloyal, which means now we can actually change his policy if he's got any policies going. So we'll change it to cultural assimilation again. Change all of this to cultural assimilation. Because we want to change the culture as quickly as possible to limit um, the unrest. Because if we have a lot of aggressive expansion, the unrest is going to be quite high and just changing the culture helps a lot. A lot of it is Meroitic, which is good. I mean, most of it is now. It's only the kind of the conquered regions that we've just got and some of Cyrenaica, but that will change on its own over due course of time. Uh, what next? There's quite a few things we need to get done here. I can go for a tradition, which I'm going to do. Uh, might as well spend some now on a tradition. Um, let's go for the ships of the desert camel combat bonus or camel desert combat bonus as well for heavy cav and light cav desert combat bonus so I might as well go for that um, I'm not going to spend the I'm not going to get the next one um, because I just want to keep the military experience for the next war how long is the peace treaty with the fridge till 640 we've got eight years no, seven years, sorry. So seven years. I'm not going to spend any political inf uh, military experience for seven years. I want to keep it so we get the extra morale boost. Um, that's done. What next? Um, oh, yeah. I forgot to tell you guys. Off camera, I've increased some of the governor forces um, over here. I might actually reduce this one slightly. I've got them up to 10,000. The ones, the two that are on 5,000, I've got them up to 10 to lower and rest a bit more. However, here, I'm just going to get rid of one, two, two of each. That's five of them and then five arch. I'll reduce it down to 10k. I don't really need any more. It's going to be too much. Um, 10k stacks for governor armies are fine. Who's that? Palestine governor disloyal. But well, he's not disloyal anymore because he's. that just needs to wait for the end of the month for the modifier to apply. 
uh, which is fine. I could probably grant you a small holding, which I am going to do. If you grant your holding somewhere. That's going to help you. And now we need a new governor for the region of Syria. Could we part have... Well, we part own a region of Syria. Now, I'm not going to put a major family guy here. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to put maybe the best man for the job. And Saul is the most loyal. Um, you're pretty good. Ergios Zotikid. Nine finesse, 57 loyalty. Why not? You're a pretty good man. So I'll put you there. I've also built a shitload of theatres and temples in order to speed up the whole conversion down here and the simulation. So hopefully that's going to work wonders. I've got a lot of them going. So hopefully that would work. I can't change any capitals just yet because we're at war. So that's not going to be done. Um, should I change? I'm probably going to change policy here. Um, let's see. If I go cultural assimilation, it goes down. Okay, so I'm going to leave him... I'm going to leave this up here for the moment. I'll leave it on um, whatever he's got. Um, I think it's the... What is that? Autonomy. We'll leave it on local autonomy. It keeps them happy. And uh, we'll just kind of let it go on its own. Even without the assimilation policy, it should go pretty quickly. Maybe I have to wait till the end of the month. Yeah, I think we have to wait for the end of the month for it to be taken into account. Um, anyway, that is done. What next? Starving pops over here. Why have I got starving pops? Because it's been looted? Yes, it has. It's because it's been looted. Uh, the same here, I can't really build or change any province capitals here because we're still at war, so I'll do all that in a while. I've got a couple of forts going, by the way, in a few of the cities um, just to protect them because we can. Why have I got a fort here? Um, no, none in that settlement. Go away. It's not a city, so I don't know why there's a fort there. Uh, but I've got them in here and all that sort of stuff. I could probably get rid of... Yeah, you know what we're going to do here? I'm going to get rid of the useless buildings like the foundry... Yeah, we'll get rid of one of the foundries, and I'll go for a theatre again. We'll get more theatres going. Uh, what about here? Yeah, here I'm full up. So, yep, so all down there were pretty good. Next, tech. We might be able to get a few things here. Something would be some nice stuff. Um, what can we go for? Diplo range, open power. National manpower would be good. It would help us get it up a bit more, but we're already getting quite a lot, so I don't think we really need that. Army maintenance cost, we're going to go for that. That's going to save us a little bit of money. And we're going to go for the national citizen output as well, just because that would help us increase our tech rate. And especially since we passed a law for extra research points, it should go up a little bit. Go up to 92%. That's not bad. That's pretty good. Considering we are huge, hitting like 92% to 100%, it's like kind of a good thing. It's hard to do. A side on, they want wine, no problems. And veterans do. So after wars, toll and hardship, it is with hopeful eyes that the veterans of our armies look towards a life of retirement, um, a life of rural farming, with promised farmland often parceled out to the most goddamn deserving. Um, so I want to keep the state-owned farmlands where we've got them. So I'm going to bribe my commanders. I lose a bit of gold, but all my commanders gain loyalty. And that's going to be useful, so we'll take that. Army morale goes down, but only for till 637, and considering we can't start the war till um, 640. Yeah, that's fine. We'll do that. Good. And we should make a lot of money anyway. I make 33 now per month. Wow, that's quite a lot. It could be more, though. I think we could do more by changing some stuff. Um, yeah, I think we're going to change some of these here. I think the first thing we're going to change is get off the morale of armies here and go for the national slave output plus 20 percent we'll do that that's going to help us cash wise should let, should get us speed us right up there to 50 already that's pretty good um at pa merwid the syrian died um, not that important i think these pots are dying because it's all been looted of course that's not that important is this the governor force yeah that is the governor force have a lot of unrest here though but the governor's quite corrupt yeah you're a really corrupt man um can I impose corruption sanctions on you? Damn. He needs to be corrupt, but you're already very... Oh, he is corrupt. Ah, oh, but he's got the corrupt trait, so I can't do that. Oh, well, so you're just going to have to stay there. Well, I might actually... I think I'm going to change you. You're a member of the Adikatalid family. Let's have a look at the Adikatalid family. Um, families, Adikatalid. They've got too many positions, so I can change you. And I am going to change you because you're just way too damn... Um, corrupt so let's put on this guy local slave happiness kelki are commanded you're very loyal you're pretty good at your job and hopefully because you're not um how to put it um because you're not corrupt yeah look because he's not corrupt now it's the loyalty's going up which is good 
But I do need to change a few things. So we need to go back changing. That's all fine. This needs to be changed. Oh no, it doesn't. That's done. This one needs to be changed. So we'll change this here. Cultural assimilation. Thank you. And there we go. Athens. Glass you can take. I'll trade with everybody who wants to trade. That's not a problem. Our armies are on the move. It'll take a while for them to get down there. Do we have roads here? Oh, we do have a road. Yeah, we have a road here that's going to help us move. But I think roads are going to be our kind of least, the least of our concerns. I might get one down in Arabia down here. Because, God, it takes forever to move. A road down there would be something good. We might get that. I think a road would be nice. Roads want what? They want stone. That's fine. And there's Yotic League incense, which increases our omen power. Thank you. I'll happily take that. What are you guys? These are not mercs, are they? No, they're the armies. Once the mercs hit our land, we'll disband them. Got so many buildings being built down here. What next tech can we go for? What do I want? What do we want to go for? Maybe the national manpower and the omen power would be nice. Fort maintenance, maybe. How much do we pay in fort maintenance? 52. That's quite a lot, actually. And slaves are revolting. Where the uh, battalion? Where's that? Fucking hell, there's a 34k slave stack there. Um, okay. So we need to go and deal with these guys. So I'm going to send this third army back. Um, get you off force march, actually. I'll send you... I'll keep you there. Um, you're going to go... I'm going to use the mercs, actually. We might as well use the mercs. Um, let's stop them from moving. Unit reorganised. I'll move them here. You're going to go back this way. I don't want them to die. We might as well use the mercs. So I'll quickly unit reorganise. They can occupy this if they want. That's not a problem. I'll just kill them afterwards anyway. We'll see where they move. I don't know what they're going to be doing. Um, you need to stay here, my friend, as well. And unit reorganise. Do they have a commander? They do have a commander. Damn slaves. Oh, well, it's only light troops anyway, so... Nothing really problematic down there. One thing I want to do quickly check, though, is in Memphis now. What do we like? Wow. Fucking hell. So many goddamn pops. Um, we need to get an aqueduct. Two aqueducts. No, one aqueduct. And maybe go for a academy just to help increase pop promotion speed. What about the other locations? Wow, even this city's overflowing now. Jesus Christ. Talk about having a lot of buildings. Um, here we're going to go for Academy and Alive. Yeah, here I'm probably going to put on the... Um, I'm going to... Do I want to keep this, actually? Wow. Yeah, I probably want to keep Assimilation, to be honest. Or... No, let's change it to Religious Conversion here. Just because there's so many pops of a different religion. I want to check all over the place here. Um, here we've got Religious Conversion... Here is fine. There is... Oh, it's all right. And this is fine. We just need to change this to religious conversion as well. Yeah, it's pretty good. Got so many pops in this area. And down here is all fine, though. In, like, all down south of the river, it's, like, all down kind of towards Nubia. It's all fine. Just up here. So here we're going to have to kind of pay attention to what goes on. All right, let's get them. They want that. That's fine. Um... Where are you going? These mercs. Right, let's bring you guys. Um, let's get you guys over here now. We'll deal with these pesky things. I'm going to disband these. Oh, I can't. Well, I can if I stop them from moving. I'll stop. Oh, they can actually occupy that. And then we'll disband them after. Right, let's catch these geezers. Before they kind of take everything off us. Uh, the fall of a boda. Local slaves are just... Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm not negotiating with slaves. Fuck you. I mean, we can kill you. Easy. You've got no general and you only have light troops. You're dead. It shouldn't really be a problem. Yeah, we've got them. I'm going to disband these mercs now. I don't really need them. And by the way, we're not making as much money because, of course, we're paying for the mercs. And we have quite a few of them. Okay, so these guys have gone. Finally. At last. That's a pretty big slave revolt. I've got to say... Um, so what do I do? Do I make an example of them? Or do I distribute the slaves? Yeah, I'm going to make an example of them. I'm not having... Yeah, I'm going to kill them. Their slaves are all going to be made an example of. It's like, fuck you. Go away. Leave us alone. Let's disband these mercs. Oh god, I can't because I don't have the money just yet. So... 
Um, the first army I will move probably here and put you back there. These mercs are going to go here. I'll just disband them next month once we get the money. Have I got any more men coming down here? What are you doing here? Are you kidding me? I thought you were moving all the way down here. Why are you not moving? I kind of sent you all the way down there, but you did not choose to go. Oh well, um, still go down now. So this army is going to go just below Memphis. Just because we have a lot of food down here, we can easily maintain the armies without much of a trouble. The Seleucids are actually finally going to win their goddamn civil war. It's been going on forever. And I mean for like ever. We make 89 gold now. Wow, that's a lot. And we'll make even more once we get rid of these, um, these mercs here. Which I'll get rid of now. Thank you. And we should make even more. 97 per month. Wow. Okay, so temples have been built all over the place over here. That's good news. That's good stuff. Um, going on here. Wow, a lot of pops here to still um, assimilate. A lot of them, a lot of them, a lot of them. It's going to take a little bit of time. Anyway, Scandal. So Scandal is unfortunately part of an everyday in the Egyptian court. So who's been cheating on who? So you've been cheating on your wife with this 61-year-old woman. Well, he likes his old women by the looks of it. He likes old people, so I'm just going to have him flogged. Seems to be the best thing to do. Flog anyone who's cheating. Okay, you've made it over there. We organise... Um, no, not we organise, we drill. I need to actually get rid of the units they've taken on. I know there's some light infantry units here we can get rid of. And I think I want to get rid of them at some point. Probably in a minute. Where are you? You're going, wow, the roads are so damn useful. It makes everything so goddamn fast. Um, anyway, let's check what we have here. What is this? Oh, that's the elephant army, isn't it? Of course, why are you not... No, I want... Um, heavy cav. Then I want elephants. And then I want the light cav. I don't know why that changed. Anyway, let's get rid of the unwanted units here. So you're going to go. Don't want you guys... Bam, bam, bam. Off she goes. Um, and there's another one here as well. Maybe that's got light troops that I don't really want. So these light units. Off you go. Bye bye. It gives a little bit of manpower back as well. So More pilots plundering. We know. But I don't have a navy to actually do anything. So not much we can do. And a navy is not really the most important thing at this point in time. Uh, where's our governors by the way? This is a Palestine governor. What's the region of Palestine? It's all this isn't it? I'll put you in here for the moment. Check the other governors, by the way. They're all drilling. Apart from the, the Arabia Felix is not, so you will be drilling now. Uh, lower Egypt is not, so you're going to also be drilling. And that is it. I think what I'll do also, I'll increase the... I'll get two extra heavy infantry units, I think. Yeah, for each one. We'll, put, we'll get the armies at 27,000 men. Do the same here. We'll get two extra heavy infantry units. One, two. That's nice. Get one down here as well. Oh no, that's elephant. I might get an extra couple of elephants. Let's get two elephants extra. Yeah, let's get two extra elephants. That'll be cool. Now, the fridge. What's going on? Are they uh, losing the war? Yeah, they are losing the war at the moment. It's going to be interesting to see how that goes on. Hopefully it will drag on until our peace deal is up. And then what we'll do is we'll can declare war while they're still in a really bad situation. And I'm hoping in the next war we can take everything in Syria, what we need, and maybe even free these states here. So we can then conquer them for ourselves and then of course do the, um, do the achievement. And that reminds me, we need to change the law, don't we? We need to change that to familial marriage. And I need 35 political influence. So as soon as we get it, I'm going to put on familial marriage. They want stone, that's fine. This army's back here, I'll put you on drill. And I think all of our armies are drilling now, apart from the first army. Who don't have enough men. So I want to get another unit of... Am I building another unit for that army? Oh, no we are, that's done. Okay, I didn't need to add another one. So now they're drilling, everyone's drilling, everyone's happy. We are making a hell of a lot of gold. All's good, all's well. And murmurs of dissatisfaction. So our once loyal commander, Anshi commanded, who has long led our armies to glory, has fallen far from our graces. Um, okay, tired and angry at being deprived of command, he spends his time whispering in the ears of those closest to the court. So you are not very loyal. Who loses loyalty? You, you're very loyal, but you lose 30 goddamn loyalty. Are you kidding me? He's still loyal to us though, but even though, it's just like annoying. I do all these trade routes. Uh, what I want to do here now is definitely get some roads going. It's, it's about time we built some roads down here. The movement 
like the actual movement takes forever so what we're going to do we will go along the coastline here okay so you're going to go there um, we make enough money to make roads and i want to get them done so we'll just go up to Himraz here it will go up to there like that um, then we'll maybe split straight down the middle back to here then we'll go back up and then we'll spread it along the side here and we'll go round like this 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 and this okay so this is like bringing civilization to the area we've got we've got to do it and i'll do the same with these these governor armies we can put them to good use it's, we might as well it's pointless keeping them here doing nothing so um, um how are we going to do this so you're going to go um, no, actually, I'm going to move you just here quickly, and then once you move there, I'll start the road. We'll just go right along the coast. At least then we can move troops about or move the governor armies around here quickly when we need to. Because by God, it takes forever moving across this desert land. It takes for goddamn ever. And we make so much money anyway, so we might as well just put it to good use. But let's go right along the coast here. It'll go right down. Link it up here. Yeah, that's fine. We'll just link it all the way up there. Boy, they want marble. Be my guess, they want camels. What about over here? Probably put you to good use. The road here is linked, so that's fine. But however, we don't have a road that goes down here. So what we're going to do is going to get you, and we'll build our road that goes all the way down here. We we'll get all the way over to Petra, then down to Ayla. And then we'll go down. Oh, I can't go down there because we have, it's not the um, right governor or not the right region. Um, so we'll continue to go... Oh, I can't. I can only do it there. That's a pity. So what we'll do is we'll go up here now. Back around. And then we'll link it here and there. Okay, we'll do like a kind of circle. Just to link all that up. Then I'll take them off the governor force and we'll just do the extra roads there. Um, who got need a new governor? Oh, the governor died. We need a new governor of Palestine. And I'm going to put the best man for the job. You've got commerce income, slave happiness. You could be really useful. And you're good at your job. And I'm guessing you're going to take the right policies. Well, he's not been a douche. He's put the right policies on, which isn't too bad, actually. So that's good. Good, 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 good. Uh, what next? What else can I do now? Well, I make 100 gold per month. That is great. I could probably make some more. I could probably change another uh, slot here and go for maybe the commerce income because I don't really need the elite soldiery just yet. But nah, I don't want to. I, I need. I want the political influence to change the law. Get that familiar marriage. It's part of the achievement that we need. Well, I'll build your roads. It's going to take a long time to do it, but I feel like it'll be worth it. At least I can move all the troops all around the place, and it brings civilization. I'm pretty sure it does. The road networking territory should help. And I think it also increases like assimilation speed and stuff. Road networking territory plus 5%. Yeah, it does. That's good. I like that. Metaye Archimanid died. Who are you? And the answer the governor of Nubia is pissed off with me. Oh, well, you can be pissed off all you want. I'm not really bothered about you. Like, well, not really that important. <laughs> Uh, let's keep checking on the fridge. So his manpower is dwindling. He is... The war is kind of... He's losing it. He is, he's going to lose it, though. I don't think he's going to win the war. It, it would surprise me if he did. It really would. Uh, but anyway, let's up the speed here, because there's nothing we can really do apart from wait here. And it's pointless playing on speed 4 with... We just need to get the... Get up to when the truce ends, and then we'll just declare war straight away. So 22nd December 4, 640. Four years. So he might as well. And what are you doing? Oh, that's the elephants, of course. That is the elephants. And the road's looking nice. Look at that. I love building roads in this game. It does... It seems so satisfactory. Oh, the Jews are fighting... Ha! They're fighting uh, Samaria, so they're taking advantage of that situation there. How the hell do they have 164,000... What? Fucking hell! <laughs> Okay, um, yeah, they must have hired a lot of mercs. I think that's a bit OTT, um, Judea. I mean, you didn't really need to hire all that amount of men. 
Yeah, you, you didn't need to. That's like way too goddamn much. Okay. Anyway, we need a new governor in Arabia now. Um, I'm going to put you, local slave happiness. Amir Will, Archimanid. I don't want to put this guy because he's not very loyal, so I'll put you. You've got the right policy, though, now. I hope he has. I hope he's not being stupid. I hope he's putting the right policies over here. Looks like he has for the moment. Yeah, he's not being a total douche, so that's pretty good. Um, how is the... Wow. God, there's nearly nothing left over here now. It's nearly all done. That's crazy. I didn't expect it to go that quickly. Wow. Um, barbs. Where are the freaking barbs? Um, oh, God. But these barbs are down here being a pain. So I'm just going to hire these mercs. It's just quicker than me actually... Um, how to put it? And me actually stopping these guys doing their road. I've already done the custom path, so I don't really want to kind of stop them. So we'll just use um, these mercs here to do the job. Epirus want hemp. Fine, take it. I'm not going to use the... I'm not going to get a tradition here just yet. I don't, I don't really want to. Right, let's just wait a little bit here for the extra morale tick. Maybe he'll come and attack us. Maybe next month. Yeah, he's coming on us. That's fine. We're going to beat him. There we go. Beat him back. Let's go and catch him. Finish him off. All's good. And he's dead. Um, unrivaled rock. So the recent passing of Marcias Leos Tenid has caused widespread interest amongst the court and our population at large. His considerable fortune is of such magnitude that even after settling the various debts that he owed, a number of claimants come forward. Ah, uh, you can have it. Why not? I'll give it you. I'll give it you, my man. You can you can have that. A venomous tongue. So the governor of Syria, Koili, is a particularly will weasel-like man. Fat making itself clear now more than ever. But you're loyal to me. Um, cannot move against him or... You gain corruption? Yeah, oh well. I'm not going to move against a guy. He's, he's loyal towards us, so... So I don't really want to move against him. Even though the corruption is going to hurt us a little bit, it's not going to be that bad. Uh, wow, people are dying left, right and centre here. So we've got the Royal Tutor that's now dead. Oh, pretty damn good. What about in the tech, though? Who's the Orator here? We've got really good researchers. Um, so I'll put the Royal Tutor. I'll put this guy. Actually, no, I'll put XPA Adikatalid. Uh, you're not very loyal, so I'm not putting you. Um, I need a new governor of Palestine. So the other guy died. Okay. I need a new dude. Maybe this geezer. Well, this guy's pretty damn good, actually. Let's put Midye Adikatali. You've got 10 finesse, so you might be pretty good change, uh, choosing your policies. Yeah, he, he's pretty good. He's chosen the right policies as well. Just look at that. How fast is this spreading? Like, spreads like goddamn wildfire. Let's have a look at the buildings over here. What have we got? Why have I got a forum there? don't want a forum. No. Um, what I want, though, is a temple. Definitely a temple. And um, here again, oh god, they've got crap buildings here. We're getting rid of these awful buildings. I don't know what they're doing there. I think I've chosen the wrong thing. So what I want now is theatres to help with the conversion speed and temples to help with the... Well, theatres for the assimilation and temples for the conversion. And um, here I'll go for another theatre there. Help speed all this up. Because we need to really convert... Well, convert... Well, not really convert, but assimilate here as fast as we can so we don't get the... Um, we don't get the what's it the unrest due to them not being the same um, culture as our state, because we're trying to do quick conquest. So the trick here is to assimilate as quickly as possible. Um, three years left now until we can go to war again. Hopefully that's going to go pretty quickly. Have the has the road been done here, my friend? You have finished your road. Have you finished your road? Not just yet. So I'm going to take you off Governor Force for the moment, and I'll just let you build the rest of the road. So you're going to go here like this, and you can go all the way down there, and you can link up here, and then here. What about the other dude up here? I know there's a dude here doing the roads. Yes, there was. So I'm going to take you off Governor Control for the moment, and you're going to go down here, and we'll do the roads this way as well. Get them over this side. Might as well. And then you go back, and then through this side here as well. And then we'll get these all the way up there, and link it up to here. So there, everything is like linked up, and we can easily move around. Yonia, they want dies. Take it, my friends. Take it, take it, take it. 
I need more money. Or we make a half well, don't really need more money. We make 109 per month. And I can change the succession law. So we're going to go for familial marriage now. Thank you. So that is part of the achievement done. I'm just going to double check. See if it's actually taken it into account. So a new kingdom. Yep. All we need now is the territories. So we've enacted the familial marriage. Which is good. So now we just need Syria. And hopefully that is not going to take too long. Are they still fighting Rome? Or they've peaced out. They've peaced out. And what has happened? Have they, have, have they peaced out? They have peaced out. Okay, well they didn't lose, they didn't seem to lose anything. Well they've lost a lot of manpower. Let's take that way. They're down to 97,000. They've got less manpower than us at the moment. Which is good. Because when we strike, the less manpower they have, the better. Um, oh god, this is good stuff. Aggressive expansion impact, improve maximum opinion, tribute income. I'd like to get all that, but for the moment, I well, for the moment now we just need to stockpile the gold. Because we're building the roads. I don't want to spend the money on... I don't really want to spend the um, money on tech and then not have enough money to finish the roads. I just want to really get the roads finished. The sooner the roads are done, the better. And here it's all linked up as well. This is really good. It's going to make our movements so much easier. Thank you, uh, The Fridge, for building the road network. Okay, what do we want here? Slave output. Wrong culture group happiness. Slave happiness. Fort defense, not really. Probably national slave output, to be honest. Let's go for that again. More, more national slave happiness. Influence of the Maroid family. So we don't have enough people of quality in the family, so we need to choose somebody to bring in. And I'm probably going to bring in one of the generals. But you're not comedic. You're okay. Or you're not comedic either. Both of them are not comedic. Um, what do I do here? Go on to invite these guys in. Are you dying? No, you're not dying. Are you dying? Lightly. Yeah, I'll, I'll bring the Arabian in. And I probably shouldn't have done that now. I'm regretting my decision. Um, okay, so. This guy's disloyal. This guy's disloyal. And... This guy is disloyal. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is we're going to swap something out here. I'm going to take get rid of the elite soldiery. And I'm going to go for this over here. Loyalty of characters. We'll go for loyalty to the state. Okay, that's going to help a little bit. Upper Egypt needs a governor. I'm going to put the best man for the job and the most loyal. Like you. You're so insanely loyal. We lose promise commerce, but you're very, very loyal. So you're going to be the governor there, my friend. Okay. Upper Egypt, so that's that solved. And now we just need to make sure these guys are no longer pissed. So, you're the head of the Adekatalid family. I'm going to quickly bribe you. So that gets rid of the civil war problem temporarily. And we have one more guy. Hopefully you'll die as well soon. Well, you're dying a little bit, but I am going to bribe you as well. So, okay, so that's them bribe. No more disloyal people. Everybody likes money. It works wonders. Okay. Crisis averted. Well, mini crisis averted. Um, so that road there is done. Let's go back up here. Where's the road network start off, by the way? Um, where did I start building it? Was it here? It was here. So you're going to go up there now. And then what we'll do is we'll continue building the road network. Um, go this way. We'll just go along the coast. I don't need to bring it right round everywhere. Go here. Then we'll go up there, there, and down here probably link it back there just for it to look nice and then we'll go back along the coast up to this place here and then we'll go here 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 up there and there and there we go then we have the whole road network done um, unrivaled wealth so the recent passing of Alamim Moroid has called widespread interest among the court and amongst our population at large so he wants the money why not you can have it I'm not really bothered about you not having it you can have it for the moment for Egypt governor, you need to be drilling. Military experience is nice and high. I think we could probably go for some tech here. Yeah, we have, we have. I'm gonna go for some tech. Let's go for the. Don't want fort maintenance or siege engineers. What do we want? Global food modifier or global food modif um, monthly modifier is good. Aggressive expansion impact is going to be pretty useful. Let's take that. 
going to be good for the next war because it means that we'll be able to probably take more land without suffering such a big penalty to aggressive expansion. Uh, by the way, that reminds us we need claims, don't we? Of course. Um, I nearly forgot. We need to get as many claims as possible. So we're going to make claims on Apami. Is it Apami? It is Apami. So I'll make a claim on Apami. And we'll just get claims all over the place. We need a few of them. Export cab for some extra discipline. Yes, please. And civic advances. Okay, a national... Ooh, we can get export value. That's also nice stuff. So much stuff that we want. Right, let's check at the loyalty of our governors here. The loyal... Wow, the governors are a lot more loyal now. So, uh, that's a pretty good thing. What's the loyalty of the provinces, though? What's province loyalty? Um, so, loyalty... I think there is a loyalty map mode. Where is it? I probably haven't put it on there. I should probably put it on, actually. Um... Where is it? Unrest and loyalty. There we go. I'm going to put you over here. There we go. Yeah, it's all fine now. It's all pretty stable, I've got to say. Way more stable than I thought it would be. Now, I know I've got an army down here that's finished the road. Oh, no, they're still building the road. Wow. Are they building the road? Yes, they are. Oh, that road is big. Big, big, big. Come on, keep it up, fellas. Keep the road going. I want a nice, civilised infrastructure. Knidos, they want stone. For God's sake, go away. Um, rising from obscurity, so... God. Um, I, get an, I get to take a new family. Oh, because we're a great power, so maybe we can have, like... How many families can we have? We can probably have five now. Now, who do I want? Maybe you. Let's get Hawafim Hero the Siren. Yeah, he's the one who kind of came... We got this guy from an event so he comes i think he's like got humble origins has he got humble origins he's a former slave oh that's cool okay we're gonna bring the former slave we'll work on hawafi um the Seleucid civil war ends finally we now have another big family that is cool heros that is cool that is cool that is cool that is cool um anyway let's quickly change the capitals of our provinces now since the war's finished and there's some we can change so here i want to change this one and put it up onto here or there no that's on desert screw that we put it up here thank you and here i want to change it as well oh no here's fine i'm going to keep it there that doesn't really need to change anywhere this can stay there now it's over here we've got a lot of extra land here that we need to kind of move capitals from so this one i'm going to move it to gaza definitely move it to gaza without a doubt that is a good city so many pops in there um Let's go for theatres. Yeah, we need more theatres in these locations. Desperately. I might get rid of an academy and a live just to build more theatres, to be fair, because we're going to need the pops. We're going to need to convert, um, convert and assimilate as fast as possible. Um, we've got some forts over here. Here I can move the province capital. Do I want to move it? Not really. We don't really have the city there, do we? From here I've got a couple of cities. Wow, we have, like, no food here. I might actually... Do I, can I get any, like, food stuff here? I don't think so. We're going to have to be careful food-wise here. We don't have that many, um... We don't have that much food available. Let's go here now. What about this province? I'll move it to where they've got the most pops, obviously. There we go. Move it to, um, Samaria. That's good. What about here? Where should I put you? Aki or this port city here. I think the port city there is going to be the good location for it. Yeah, we'll put it there. On that port city. Got so many different kind of locations here. There's a city there. Where do I move this one? I'll probably keep it on there, to be honest. What's that? Is that Tyros? That is not a city now? Are you kidding me? Wow. I could probably turn that into the province capital and it would look really cool. And I could probably get rid of this. You know what? That's what we're going to do. I am going to get rid of... I'm going to move Tyros as the capital of the province, okay? Here, I'm going to get rid of this place. It's like, yeah, bam, screw it. We'll get rid of that. Don't want that to be a city. And I'll make the city in Tyros. It's just a cool location to have it. So we'll build that one there. Over here. What do I want? Where do I want it? I don't know. It really doesn't really matter where it is here, to be honest. I mean, I suppose I could keep this one here. Could I? Or should I put it up there? You know what? We'll keep it here. 
I'll get rid of one of the temples. We'll go for four. Just to block it all up. Make it nice. Don't need one there. And the last place where we need to move it. Damascus. Gotta be Damascus. Gotta be Damascus. That is like cool capital. We're gonna get rid of that poxy thing. What are you doing there? Let's get a fort there, by the way, on that. We're definitely gonna want that. And up here, got a few cities, but... Should we make enough food here? Wait, loads of food. And uh, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Um, in the next episode, what we'll do, we'll declare the war against the fridge. We've got a year to wait, so we should get over that time pretty quickly. And then once that's done, we're definitely going to strike this guy. Wow, we've got a lot of manpower back quickly. Uh, but we'll strike him again and as fast as we can. And we'll try and take what's left of... I'll try and get most of the Syrian region, if I can. If I can't, what we'll do is we'll take as much as we can and probably try and free, uh, liberate some of these um, some of these areas down here that are kind of tributary to the um to the fridge but anyway again thank you so much for joining me if you enjoyed the episode please don't hesitate to hit that like button down below and if you want to see more important and content also consider subscribing to the channel for more and with that said and done thanks again for being here people have a great day and i will hopefully catch you all in the next one bye for now